I have seen and had some questions related to how the controller plays in Diablo 4. I was a little slow on figuring this one out. I started out in the first open beta on mouse and keyboard and by the server slam had moved to controller, but did not realize the power of the target system on controller until the retail release. I'm going to start with my setup and how it works and I will get to the alternative options at the end of this video. Under game options, controls under the controller, you scroll down, you will find the three options for the target lock system. These are the settings I've been playing with. I used the default key bindings for this video. You can see in this clip, when you're not locked on, the right analog doesn't change the target. It's whatever you're looking at with the left analog. Now, let's lock on to a target by clicking R3. Now, it will change targets depending on the direction of the right analog. When you kill the target locked enemy, it will automatically switch to another target. Here is another example of the right analog target system in action. You can also see here, while facing and actively walking away from my target, when I attack, the character will automatically turn and attack the targeted enemy. You can switch off target lock by pressing the R3 button again. There are a couple of options to adjust the behavior of the target lock system. First, persist target lock. When checked, this will maintain a target lock in between combat, making R3 a toggle on off of target lock. When not checked, it auto toggles off target lock between combat for you. The right stick to cycle lock target option. When this is unchecked, you will not be able to change targets with the right analog and will select targets based on what you are facing. Now, the hold to lock target option. With this checked and use the right stick to cycle lock target unchecked, note you do lose the option for persist target lock here. You lock onto what you are facing while you hold down R3 and will maintain that lock on that target until you release R3. Having used right stick to cycle lock target checked while hold to lock target checked is where things get a little weird. It behaves just like the hold to lock option until you use the right analog. When you select the target using the right analog, it locks on and then you can release R3 and switch targets with the right analog. It will also switch targets by clicking R3, but I cannot get it to unlock from this state and seems to persist between combat. I'm not sure if this is bugged or I am not understanding something. If you know, use, or understand this behavior better, 
please let me know in the comments. If you liked and or found this video helpful, click that thumbs up button. Subscribe so you don't miss my future content.